I need to add to the ventilator anatomy also. Uh, one more thing. As we just talked, this is ventilator and this is inspiratory limb, expiratory limb, and they meet to form one tube, and then this uh, one tube meet the endotracheal tube that comes here, and usually it ends should be two to three centimeter above the carina. Now, one thing I want you to know about the ventilator: if you've seen somebody getting intubated after they put the endotracheal tube, they said inflate the balloon. So the balloon basically, it's right here. Inflate the balloon is basically to seal off any space around the ET tube to allow the air only to pass flow in and out through the tube. No air should uh, pass in and out around the tube, should only through the tube to keep the pressure, the positive pressure the ventilator will apply. If I don't seal this area, that positive pressure will be lost and we will start having what we call air leak and that will affect the amount of volume the amount of air that going into the patient and will start having alarms going off and sometimes not enough volume being delivered to the patients so if there is leak of air or these tubes not sealed off these tubes here not sealed off, we will have a problem. We lose the pressure, we lose the volume. That's what we call air leak. Remember this word leak and these balloons because we're gonna come back to them during troubleshooting and also during weaning process. And remember the best location position for the endotracheal tube is two to three centimeters above the carina. You want to avoid high, what we call high riding or low riding. Because low riding, if the endotracheal tube goes really low, it's been, it may go here because of anatomy. And this will call right main stem bronchus. And simply all the air will go here and there is no air going here. And simply this will collapse, will become white out. Once you, if you do a chest x-ray, you will see the whole left lung is white and collapsed. And then with all the uh, consequences of collapse, as you know, um, and atelectasis where the, uh, the trachea will be shifted toward the same side of atelectatic lung. And simply what you do is pull the endotracheal tube back. Sometimes you can diagnose without x-ray or just by listening, you will hear good air entry here, nothing here. 